So this is what you guys are used to seeing every single day, but let me show you guys exactly what I see every single day. Guys, this is my 2018 Fortnite Battle Royale gaming setup guys this is for streaming and all that stuff so that's exactly what we're going to talk about in today's video I'm sorry if the lighting is a little off but we have the gaming setup and I know a lot of you guys have been requesting this so that's exactly what we're going to cover in today's video but what's going on everyone it's your boy Motion bringing you guys another video this video is completely different we're going to talk about every single thing that you see on this desk yes that is right, it looks like a four monitor setup, but little do you know, this is another monitor. So it's a five monitor setup with two computers. We have a PC right here, and then a huge Mac tower right here, you guys. Cable management isn't the best in the world, but it is very clean from my point of view. As you guys can see, underneath it, you can really not see that many cables. As you guys can see, there's probably only a little bit of cables over there, but that's needed for the mouse and then the keyboard cable. I could drill into the desk, but again, this isn't a complete, this isn't my personal like complete setup there's still things that of course I would love to have on my gaming setup but this is what I have for now but starting off we're gonna cover from things over here and then we're gonna make our way over to the beast of a computer right there so first off you guys can see we have these amazing juggernaut Inca Cola type things from Call of Duty Zombies I know a lot of you guys probably know where that's from I have a little switch under my desk if I just switch it it turns it off and I can turn it back on that easy, you guys. This is custom made myself. As you guys can see, we have double tap, sleight of hand, juggernaut, and revive. As you guys can see, it's freaking amazing. I love this little addition to my setup because again, everybody's setup needs to have their own personal touch on it. You don't want your setup to be exactly like everyone else's. You wanna have your own little spice, your own little taste to it. And I like having this added to it because those are just, they're they are amazing, they're cool to have. Um, and then next up we have my pops. There are these little pop toys, these little action figure things that people like to collect. I have all Dragon Ball Z characters and then some Naruto ones, but those are over there. We can cover those in another video. If you guys wanna see the whole entire basement setup tour, give this video a thumbs up. If we can actually get enough likes on the video, I will bring you guys that video. But moving on, we have these speakers right here. These two speakers right here. A lot of people probably are curious about this they come in black these are Bose speakers I think they're like 70 to 80 dollars speakers not too sure I got it about two years ago but they are very nice quality speakers you guys they're, they're, they come in black but as you can see I spray painted it white to match the complete desk with white setup the white monitor setup the white computer setup and that's basically the theme that I wanted to go with so I spray painted these white it has a volume knob on it right there very very good speakers I have my Astro Mix amp, this is A40 mix amp. It came with my headset. That's exactly what I'm using right here. I know a lot of you guys have questions about like where I bought it from, how much it costs, and you wanna know where you can get it. So of course, everything that I cover will be in the link in the description below, so make sure to check it out. If you do want it, if you do like it, you can get it there. But moving on to these three monitors and what exactly they do. So starting off, they're all the same monitors. It's an HDMI Asus monitor. I think they're 23 inches, each of them. So they're very small, but they have a one millisecond response time very responsive, very good monitors. As you guys can see, we got the Dragon Ball Z wallpaper on both of these. Uh, actually, these are Dragon Ball Super wallpapers on both of these guys, but we have three of them. Asus monitors, they're very good quality. And the thing that I don't like about them, I got the white version, is these little these little stands that they come on, you cannot take it off unless you like cut it off or anything like that. So these monitors, they could have a floating effect, but because it has this stupid little thing on it, I cannot cut it because I just don't want to ruin the monitor or anything like that. So they're literally just stuck like that. And basically this one on the far left and on the far right are controlled by this computer right here, the Mac. So if you guys know, of course you have your Mac, typical Mac things, you have Safari and stuff like that. This is where I do my Photoshop. This is where I do my Final Cut Pro for videos, editing my videos and stuff like that. So that's exactly where I do all that stuff, my YouTube and everything. Uh, Actually, when I stream, I have everything else running on there and there as well. So that way I'm not running that much on my PC, which is actually this right here. This is just a Samsung TV. I believe this is a 40 inch smart TV. I don't know if it's 4K. I don't think it's 4K. Uh, the quality, again, this is, I got it on Christmas, one of the Black Friday deals and stuff like that. So it is a 40 inch TV. It's pretty massive, but I use this for streaming. Anytime that I want to stream or anything like that, that's exactly why I bought this computer right here, this beast right here. I'll, I'll cover that in a second so stay tuned on that but for now as you guys can see this is where I like run OBS and everything like that I have OBS open right here hey look there I am right there 
And while I have OBS open, I'll come down here and I'll have my chat open. I'll have Streamlabs open and stuff like that. As you guys can see my chat, I'll have my Streamlabs over here so I can see donations, follows, everything like that. I also like to have my dashboard for Twitch so I can see like who's all viewing the stream, what the quality of the stream is, if everything's looking good. Sorry for the blur, let me fix it real quick. And it makes things very easy on this computer right here. So all this computer is doing is basically playing music and live streaming. So there's not that much CPU usage or anything like that going on with the computer. And I'm not just killing the computer and just overloading it too much again i will go over the specs on both the computers but for now i'm going to show you everything here we're going to cover the geek stuff a little bit later so with that being said a lot of people are probably asking how do you control two computers with one mouse and one keyboard actually i have a usb switch underneath here next to this light right here the light switch for uh the perks from call of duty zombies we have another switch right here and if you push it you can hear a sound that sound you hear is the USB switch and moving these, this mouse right here and keyboard from this computer over to this computer. So that way if I ever want to switch and work on different things on this computer, all I have to do is push a button and it'll take me up to this computer right here. That easy, you guys. It's very easy, very clean setup. I love it. And it allows me to have a clean desk setup so I don't have two mouse and two keyboards for two different computers. It's a very easy setup, you guys. Now, covering the next thing is this middle monitor right here. This middle monitor right here is for my PlayStation 4. Now, I know some of you are probably wondering, where is your PlayStation 4? It's actually under here on top of my mini fridge. The wiring is not the best in the world down here, but as you can see, I spray painted that white as well. The wiring isn't the best underneath but again I don't care as long as you can't really see that many wires right there if you have to come all the way down here just to see the wires that's good enough for me in my opinion just for a temporary setup it's good enough for me and what I mean by temporary is of course I'm going to be moving in the next few months from here all the way upstairs to the master bedroom so you guys are gonna see another setup coming soon probably in a few months actually but uh guys this this setup is so amazing like literally this is what i see every single day when i'm playing video games and keep in mind i do have these lights turned off for when i'm just playing games casually if i'm live streaming that's the only time that i will have these two lights on that way i can actually get the best lighting but this is just a casual gaming this is when i'm just playing not recording not doing anything just playing for fun this is the setup that i see right here you have my monitor that monitor this one and this one i could be playing music on that one i could be on twitter on that one watching youtube videos there while gaming on this one guys the setup is amazing look at how sexy this looks i would do like panoramic stuff but i mean this is probably the best that i could possibly do at a short notice again i'm recording this all in one day but with that being said let's cut the lights on so we can actually see a little bit more of the gaming setup man this this just looks really nice from a from a distance man it, it's it's a beautiful setup so moving on to the next thing is of course the mic or the monitor stand which you guys probably can't see from the back you can see it it holds all my monitors so that way it looks like it's floating it's clean it looks really good uh this was i believe 70 to 100 dollars, something like that again i will leave a link down in the description below and then next up we have my webcam guys it's just a normal logitech webcam there's nothing special about it i think it's a 60 dollars webcam you can get that at best buy or anything like that again link in the description down below this is actually my connect mic that i use for my playstation that's the microphone i actually use to talk to everyone on playstation because this mic up here this is the one that i use for live streaming you guys this is your yeti blue yeti microphone with a shock mount pop filter and the rode microphone arm this was like a hundred dollars or something like that very cool because you can actually control everything easily with this arm so if i want it to be right here i can easily just put it right in front of me if i wanted to put it away i could just lift it up and tuck it to the side that easy you guys and next up we have this cool little kid goku led light you can change the colors on it it's really cool you guys i just like little personal things on your desk because again it adds character it makes your desk unique and it has its own personality to so as you guys can see we have a whole Dragon Ball Z theme going on this keyboard is an I buy power keyboard and the mouse is I buy power as well you guys nothing too special about it I mean they were free that came with the computer same with the mouse pad free came with the computer but now we're gonna talk about the computer specs you guys this thing is a beast as you can see there's Goku looking at you right here this is actually an LCD monitor so if you guys want to know like what I mean by that so basically I'm gonna open up OBS right here and if I drag it over here 
you can barely see it but it is honestly it's right there it's it's in my my computer side panel that's crazy to think I don't really care for it too much I don't use it for anything else besides the wallpaper of having a, just a sick wallpaper on my computer I think it's really cool neat handy I love it I, I love it a lot it's an iBuy power snow blind very very nice PC let me open it up for you real quick so it's hard to open it up and see that much inside because the Rode microphone is in the way but as you guys can see on the inside very clean computer, very, very clean. Uh, the specs will be down in the description below. It wasn't that expensive of a computer, but it was about like $2,000. And then this one is the big Apple Mac tower with my own router right there, so that way I can control everything so it's not no lag or anything like that. Everything is clean. Over here, the, the, the cable management isn't the best in the world, but really, how do you get the best cable management when it comes to like the computers and stuff like that? So this part isn't really in sight. We have LEDs on the back of my monitors looks very nice at nighttime again like I said this is a, a beast for an Apple computer and a beast for a PC again the reason I have two a lot of people probably ask why do you have two that's actually because I love editing my videos in Apple uh, the the Final Cut Pro software is really easy to use I'm very used to it I love it a lot so moving over to Windows would probably not be the best thing in the world for me it would probably be a little bit hard so I just use that for streaming I do love the PC a lot I can actually play Fortnite on it which is really really good because the quality is just it's so clean so crisp and so clear you guys i mean don't get me wrong playstation 4 is it's all right i mean as you guys can see it, it's it's pretty clean it looks pretty good i only have a standard ps4 not the ps4 pro but over here we can launch fortnite as well so if i ever want a game on pc fortnite all i have to do is hook it up to this big tv up here and then i can just set this one aside if i don't want to do console gaming i want to use mouse and keyboard or anything like that i can use my pc now with that being said i think i covered everything here we have the rode microphone my pc my speakers my both speakers that work for my mac um my three monitors the monitor stand the fourth monitor and then the fifth lcd screen that's on the side of my computer my mac back there we have the kid goku led light right here we've covered the mouse pad we covered the free mouse free mouse pad free keyboard that came with the pc um what else is there we covered all the little pop toys in the back we covered the juggernaut customize the thing that I actually made myself if you guys want to see how I made it I made a video completely about that that'll be in the link in the description below as well we cover the mix amp which covers the Astros that I'm actually using as well the lights are just normal lights that you just find anywhere and then we have Fortnite see guys this is Fortnite up here on the TV as well as right here the quality is so much better up here but again it, it's a lot bigger so it's kind of hard to do things but quality is very very clean you guys and I think that covers everything besides the direct tv box that we have in the back but there you guys have it this is my 2018 gaming setup guys i love this setup so much i can't explain to you how much this setup means to me this took me years to make i know a lot of you guys are going to ask how'd you get the money to do it i actually work a full-time job i was an electrician for a while and i saved up all my money for this setup right here so here you guys have it the 2018 fortnite Battle Royale gaming setup. This is the ultimate setup for streaming, YouTube videos, all that stuff. I'm gonna turn off all the lights just because, again, the quality is amazing. It's probably gonna get really dark on my face here in a second, but the quality of this, just gaming like this at night, this is the best thing in the world that anyone can ever ask for. By the way, my desk chair is just a normal desk chair. Nothing special about that. Get that actually out of the frame because that's ugly. And here you guys have the 2018 setup, you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys give me on the channel every single day if you guys want please give this video a thumbs up I appreciate that more than anything this has been much requested on twitch live streams people ask like can I see your gaming setup so guys finally brought it to you if you want to see again the whole room set up in the basement I can show you guys that if you guys can kill I don't know a thousand likes on this video we can do that for you guys but with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you in tomorrow's video peace